so I'm just gonna wait another minute or two for people to get on. When you're on, please send a message, say you're on, so I can see. I give everyone a few minutes to get on. Hi, Lisa. I see that you're on. I'm gonna write everyone's names down as you're popping in so we can raffle off a prize. So say something when you get on. Lisa, can you type something in so I can see that it's working? I can see that you're on, but I'm not seeing any comments. I'm not quite sure if this is working, the comments are working tonight. So I'm just going to begin. I'm gonna start just by talking a little bit about myself and how I got into this. First, thank you, Lisa, so much for having this party. Um, I know you mentioned that you have some Norwex that you've been using, um, and I'm excited to learn a little bit more about it and share it with your friends and your family. And I'm excited to do that with you. Um, my name is Renee Metro, and I have been using Norwex for three years. I just recently became a consultant in June. Um, apparently, I've been selling it a whole lot without really being a consultant. Um, everyone I talk to, I seem to talk about Norwex ever since I started using it. I just love how it works. I love that I don't have to use chemicals. I love that it costs me next to nothing buying chemicals anymore. I don't buy anything, um, no chemicals at all in my house. Um, so I've been really amazed with what it does and it's very simple to use. Initial investment is just buying some cloths and getting rid of your yeah. chemicals and that's all there is to it. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about cleaning first before we start. Um, there's three ways to clean. You can clean by adding chemicals to your surface and disinfecting. You can mechanically clean, and that's what we do with our cloths, the microfiber cloths. Or you can clean by thermally cleaning, and that is basically steam cleaning to clean your surfaces. So our Enviro cloth, we'll start with that. Our Enviro cloth, oh, I didn't put it out. Our Enviro cloth is our um, main staple cloth, I would say. This one has a little bit of scrub to it. This isn't the one that would come in the um, package. You get the regular Enviro cloth, which is super nice. It's this one. Actually, if you host a party and you have a booking, you get this cloth. It's really nice. This is the Enviro cloth. And all our cloths are labeled. So we know that this is Enviro cloth because it says right on there Enviro cloth and it has backlock in it. And I'll tell you about that. So backlock is micro silver. The micro silver is weaved right into the fibers of the cloth so it doesn't fall out. 
silver is an antimicrobial um, agent. So it will self-sanitize this cloth as it dries. So you don't have to worry about a stinky, smelly cloth full of mold, mildew, holding on to bacteria. It doesn't. So these cloths will self-clean themselves. So we're going to mechanically clean with this cloth. This is the Enviro cloth and it is, um, the microfiber in this cloth is one two hundredth the size of a human hair. Regular microfibers that you would buy at the store are one sixth of a human hair, so this is much denser. So if you took all the fibers out of this and stretched it, it would reach from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. That's quite a long ways. Um, so I'm going to show you, it, has anyone seen the um, chicken demonstration yet? Drop in the comments what you think about that. And I'm not licking the plate. Lindsay Norman, she licks the plate every time. I know it works. I believe it works. I'm not licking the plate. <laughs> so I'm going to get my chicken. The products that I'm demonstrating tonight are from our safe haven kit. And so here's my chicken. This chicken is from June. I've been using the same piece. After I'm done, I just throw it into back into the freezer. So it's pretty gross. I'm gonna rub it all over my plate. I'll put the juice on there too. It's pretty gross. Wipe my fingers off a little bit on this cloth. Actually, going to use the Enviro cloth that you would get if you host a party and you have a booking. So I'm going to use this one. So all you do with these cloths is you get them wet. So you thoroughly wet it. And it takes a second for the water to absorb in. So these cloths are very dense. So I have it wet, and I'm just going to wring it out. You just want it damp. You don't want it wet. So I'm going to wring my cloth out. And then I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to fold it so it's in fours. So you have eight sides, eight clean sides for using this. So that will take you a long time, a long ways in your house when you're cleaning. You're not continuously going back to your faucet to rinse your cloth. You're not constantly spraying some sort of chemical and using tons of paper towels. This is it. This is all I'm going to use. So to start, we have these swabs. We get them from ProClean. It's a distributor, it has nothing to do with Norwex at all. But the swabs check for protein. Protein is smaller than bacteria. So with the protein, we're gonna swap, I'm gonna swap the plate and it's gonna check to see if there's protein. Obviously there's going to be protein because I just rubbed chicken all over. So let's open this up. Alright, and I'm gonna swab it. Put it in, crack the top, put fluid in there. So it shows you right on the side what it means. Purple, you can see that. Purple means protein and green means clean. And that changed really quickly. That is very purple. So we know that there's protein on that plate. Put it in my thing. So now I'm just going to take my microfiber, my Enviro cloth, nothing but water. I'm not spraying this plate. I'm not using any sort of chemical on this plate at all. All I'm using is my Enviro cloth. And you want to use the Enviro cloth because it will pick up all the bacteria, all the debris, all the dirt off this plate, off any of your sur surfaces. I'm just going to wipe it. Now I'm going to take my a fresh protein swab and I'm going to swab this plate. And it's going to show that it's clean. Like who's not grossed out by chicken? You have oh that turned really quick. Green. No protein. It is clean. So I could take this plate, put it away in my cupboard, I could eat off of it, not worry that there's any kind of bacteria, any kind of proteins, anything that's going to make me sick on this plate. It is clean. To show you something totally cool, 
Now I'm gonna swab my Enviro cloth. There's no protein left on the Enviro cloth. It goes deep into the fibers of the Enviro cloth and locks in. So I can continue to wipe up my kitchen and not worrying about transferring any of that protein, any of that bacteria, any of that nasty salmonella is gonna make me sick or my family over my house. There's nothing left on this. It's clean. Because it's locked inside the fibers. When you rinse it, it will come out. And so it's pretty amazing. Right there, what did I just say? So when you buy a cloth, you're eliminating the use of chemicals in your house. You're not replacing, you're, or you're replacing, you're not adding to. So you're not using this cloth in addition to anything. You are not going to use any chemicals at all. This just replaced counter sprays. It replaced, what else? Any of those kind of sprays that we'd use to clean up our counters, um, anything like that. I'm gonna rinse it. I'm just gonna get it wet again. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about the window cloth. Let's take a second and look at this. So this is the window cloth. It is also known as the polish cloth. So you use this little guy, pretty big. You use it dry. This says window, you see that? And it also has backlock in it. So this also, as it dries, it will self sanitize. So you're going to use it dry, but when you're done using it, you're going to rinse it well and hang it because you don't want all that junk that you cleaned sitting on your cloth. I'm gonna move these a little bit out of the way and I'm gonna show you a little butter demonstration. So follow me. So I'm gonna take some butter and I'm gonna smear it on my oven. Can you see that? So that would be a problem. Boiled butter, that's hard to clean up, right? I'm gonna use old fashioned, what I would use, a spray, a window spray and paper towels. Watch this. It's smearing it. There's a film. It looks horrible. I would need to respray. Yeah, that's really bad. It's like all glossy. I would need to respray that and get more paper towels to finish cleaning that. But with the Enviro cloth, I'm gonna do it again. Now this time I'm just gonna use the Enviro cloth. And again, I'm using it damp. And the window cloth, I'm using it dry. And I'm just gonna go over it. And look at, it removed, it picked up off the surface all that butter. It's gone. It looks fine, but I'm just gonna go back over it with the window cloth to polish it. So there's no streaks. This works, these two work amazing on your windows, so fast. Wipe the Enviro cloth real quick, pulls up all the debris, all the dirt on your windows, polish cloth back over it to give you that crystal clear shine. On your car windows, your windshield, it always has that haze on it, so you use the Enviro cloth and the window cloth, lickety split, it's done. No streaks, it's perfectly clean. Love it. Um, the window cloth is great on stainless steel. It's great on mirrors. I use these two. I have the small size, actually. I keep with me. Here's the travel size. This is a super cute package. If you want something totally awesome, you can put in your car. It's a body cloth, the Enviro cloth, and the window cloth. It's great to keep with you when you're just out and about, especially now.
because I use these to clean my windows and take the dog for a ride. Dog nose prints all over the place. Super fast. Everyone always has a bottle of water with them. Wet your EnviroCloth, hit those windows, shine those windows really quick. And super cute. You're super cute. Super small. Body cloth, super nice for those stinky boys when they get in the car. After practice, wipe down. Stinky done. So those are really nice. These two are the most important cloths. If you are looking just to get into Norvex, a first timer, never used Norvex before, I would suggest the basic package, which is just these. Enviro cloth, window cloth. You can clean 99% of your home with just these in water. So no more buying any of those chemicals. The next thing I want to show you is the dusting mitt. So I have to say, when I first got this, I was like, whatever, it's not that great. I wasn't using it right. No one taught me that you have to charge it. So you need to charge your mitt. You rub your hand together, and now it's static charged. So now when you go and dust your surfaces, the dust just attracts to it. Easy peasy, right? Some people like to have two, makes it faster. I have one, no problems. But I, this is really nice, I'm going over the blinds, doing small things, you wanna just quickly dust your knickknacks. This is my soap dispenser, super pretty Norwex soap dispenser. But you know, you're just gonna quickly dust and it pulls everything off. Very easy, it fits on the palm of your hand, it's pretty big so even your husband could use it to dust very manly in the blue buy it for him for Christmas I would say so that is so then these three this would be the household package so the dusting cloth the Enviro cloth and the window this would be the household package these three basic patch package household package now if you want to add a little bit more the Safe Haven 5. The Safe Haven 5 is great because it's everything you need in a box. It comes with your laundry soap, your cleaning paste, the mitt, the Enviro cloth, and the window cloth. The um, cleaning paste right now, you actually get a big jar. This is a small one that came in my um, consultant package when I signed up to be a consultant. I was begged to sell my larger jar that came with the safe haven to a friend because you can't buy the larger jar right now with everything going on. They're only having it in the um, safe haven plus and another one of their packages that has it. I'm not drawing a blank right now, but this is very amazing. You will use this in addition to your EnviroCloth. So if you have something that you can't get off of your EnviroCloth, you wanna go for this. They call this the um, elbow grease in a jar. It's the cleaning paste and it's um, free. The only thing in here is marble flour, natural soaps and traces of coconut oil. That is it. And it's pretty much a powder. It's light, when you touch it, it's, it's light. It's like a powder, it's chalky. So you use it with the Enviro cloth. You have your damp Enviro cloth. And you get it on there. So now if you have something stubborn, like the inside of your oven, the door, the door of your oven, it always has splatters on it. It'll take it right off. You have any, like if you've heard water in your house and you have those water stains on your faucet, it'll take it right off. Um, if you have iron in your water, if you have well water, I think I posted some pictures of some cleaning I did at my sister-in-law's house. Um, and that's all I used was the um, cleaning paste. And I used a spirit net, which is, um, I have one in here? I don't have one in here. Um, it's just like a little metal scrubber to break up all that calcium and iron that was all over her bathtub. There's pictures and I think a video I posted in our group earlier but it's amazing, absolutely amazing without chemicals, what you can do. No respiratory issues, you know, you're breathing that stuff in, all the fumes, the 
whatever, the bleach, whatever the chemicals that are that you're using to clean, it's going into your body. We're poisoning ourselves by using it. Read those wipes. It says it's a pesticide. We use them like everywhere. I have to use them at work. We were given them. We were told you have to use these. I'm like, well, fine. I'll use them. I'll put gloves on. I'll use them. But then I'm going to clean up my surfaces with my EnviroCloth after to remove all those pesticides that you're telling me I have to put on my surface to sanitize, to disinfect. This does the trick. You don't need any of that. I keep this one with me when I go to the grocery store. I wipe the car candles. I don't want to touch those. I'm using this to wipe the car candles down. So there we go. That's the elbow grease in the jar, the cleaning paste. They are saying that it will be back in stock for individual purchase in January. So it's kind of a ways away. And there's no nothing. So safe haven. You can sign on to be a consultant and get it that way. You get a small jar. I used a lot of it trying to clean up my uh, sister-in-law's rehab house. But a little bit goes a long way. This jar I got in June. I used a whole bunch of it at her house, but um, there's this will probably last me a year. You don't. You only need this like for whatever your Enviro cloth won't clean, which pretty much isn't much. So. All right, next thing that would come in this box is the Ultra Power Laundry Soap. So if you can see this bag, I'm gonna post more about this later in our group, but this bag tells you it does 100 loads of laundry. However, what consultants have found that the scooper in here is too big. It's 30 milliliters, the scooper that comes with it. And they're telling you that's good for a large load of high efficiency. Most of us have high efficiency washers. We have, my water is hard at my house. I was using one teaspoon to wash our clothes. The boys with their sports, a teaspoon's not enough, so I've been adding two teaspoons. My clothes, I use a half a teaspoon for a, a, a whole load of laundry, which a week and my clothes are totally clean the boys need a little bit more because they're a little stinkier whatever but um so this whole bag if you're only using a teaspoon will last you about 300 loads maybe 400 loads somewhere around there so that's quite a good deal and i think the bag of laundry soap it by itself is like 23 dollars i think um so that's it's one of the important things to remember too when you're using the any kind of microfiber, not just Norwex, but I really hope you only use Norwex, is that you need to not use, do not use um, fabric softener or dryer sheets. They will gunk up your microfiber. That stuff will just lay on the surface and your microfibers won't work and you'll be like, hmm, what happened? Well, someone threw them in with dryer sheets or fabric softener. So my suggestion would be mix the dryer sheets, mix the fabric softener, get it out of your house. When you buy your, when you buy your um, microfibers, your Norwex, get rid of them. Dryer balls they sell are amazing. They come three in the bag. I throw all three in. Towards the end of the load, end of the dry cycle, I put a couple drops of some lavender oil on it because so nothing smells. The laundry soap doesn't smell. You're not using fabric softener. You're not using dryer sheets. So your laundry comes out like laundry. It doesn't smell, which is good. But so I just add a little drop, a couple drops of um, lavender. Sometimes, if I remember, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm in too much of a hurry. But all three bottles go in your dryer. When they come out, be careful because. Uh, your dog will find them and take them and run and hide. Mine did and chewed, demolished one of my dryer balls. So um, I'm running my dryer with only two dryer balls right now because, and it still works. I don't wanna buy a new, well, I, have, I guess I have one, but I don't wanna use these. Um, so this is the laundry soap. So here is, I'm gonna turn it this way. The Norwex laundry soap. And this was another laundry soap that I was using before, free and clear. Laundry soap, it looks like there's an amoeba growing in it, but I'll shake it. So, they're both pretty okay. 
The Norwex one you, looks like water. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. This one, I don't remember what the name brand of it was, but it was a free and clear, I thought pretty safe laundry soap. Had a nice lavender smell to it. Everything smelled nice coming out. Um, but it's, it's pretty clear. There's not tons of junk floating around. But that's the one thing that's important when you're washing your microfibers. You wanna make sure that you're not using like those pods or anything with plastic wrapping on it or anything with the dyes, like any of like the blue laundry soaps, anything with that kind of stuff. So free and clear is good. Norwax laundry soap, better. But free and clear will do the trick just as well. Um, so that's that. So that's the safe haven. So you get all of this in the safe haven. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the mop. The mop is what kind of pushed me to become a consultant. Not kind of, it did push me to become a consultant. I wanted that mop so bad, but $120 for a mop, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. My husband's gonna kill me if I spent $120 on a mop. That's ridiculous. Like I can get one from Target for 20 bucks. But this mop, if I had to pay $120 for it, it would have been the best $120 I ever spent because it is so simple and your floors are so clean. My aunt got the mop and she said they wear their shoes in their house, we don't, but she said that their sneakers are now squeaking on the floor. Probably because the buildup of whatever chemicals that you're using on it are now gone and you just have the finish of your floor. But you're just doing, you're just wetting the mop pad and wiping your surface. I'm gonna ask for my assistant to come over and help me, Jake. Can you come help me? My assistant's gonna come and hold the camera a little bit so I can show you how I mop. So this one right here is the dry mop pad. It says floor, can you see that? It's floor. So you use this dry, it's nice and soft. It's like a chenille, I guess, it's really soft. So you use it dry, you hold it. So you throw it down on the floor and you want to offset your mop handle, your mop. So I've actually seen some hacks where people put a little command strip here and then tab that over. So when you're going under your baseboards, see I struggle a little bit to try and get it under the baseboards, but it just flips up under the baseboard. So that's why you want to have it offset. Ooh, so when you're mop, when you're dry mopping, you want to kind of do like a figure eight. So you're pulling all the dirt towards you. And we did not vacuum today. So we're going to have a bunch. So there. Lots of dog hair. We have a super furry dog in this house. Need this. this little baby is amazing. It's a rubber brush. It's awesome. It also comes in your consultant package if you want to become a consultant. Otherwise, you can buy it. I think it's like $13. But that's it. You just quick and painless, just like that. And right in the garbage. Now that I do, with whatever is left on the floor, is there anything left? I just wipe it up with my Enviro cloth. That's it. And it's Velcro, so the back side is Velcro, and the side of the um, mop is Velcro. I'm going to show you the wet mop now. You can see all my stuff piled up over here. So the wet mop, I just run under water, I get it wet. And then I just roll it. Just roll, give it a roll, give it a twist. I'm gonna wring it out. So it just needs to be damp. So a little trick that was a learning curve for me that I had to learn was I was pressing so hard 
because that's what you do when you mop. You press with all your might to get all the junk off your floor. You don't need to. Actually, if you do, you're gonna have problems like I did. Your mop will flip and flop all over the place. Watch out. So again, offset it. That's all. And then, watch out, Haley. And then you just mop. So I'm not using much pressure. I'm pushing a little bit, but not too hard. If I push too much, of course now it's not gonna do it. Now I'm pushing with all my might, but it's not flipping on me. But that's it, so you just go over your surface. And again, it'll go, you can have the commands for it to be easier, but go right under your baseboards and those are all clean too. The cool thing with this mop handle is the top part. So if you ever have like something like uh, something sticky, someone dropped a piece of candy, you can just go like this real quick and it gets it off. The other thing is it's telescopic. So you can turn it and make it shorter. I'm pretty short. Or you can go up high. And now I can use it to white wash my ceiling if I need to. And you can lock it. So right here, you can push it down. To be able to do it like that. And now it's locked. So it's not going to go side to side. It'll go back and forth, but it won't go side to side. All right, that's the mop. The next thing I want to show you, though, is the Enviro wand. The Enviro wand is this. I keep saying this is my favorite thing of everything, but the Enviro wand is amazing. It is chenille. It has all these little nubbies on it, and the other side is smooth, but it bends. Look at that. You can bend it, and now you can go do your ceiling fans. You can bend it the other way. And you can take the handle apart, and it connects onto your mop. assistant had to go get something. We're going to go clean up the ceiling fan. So it's telescopic, so I can go up really high. And get my ceiling fan. So we have the cathedral ceiling, kind of high. Usually I have to get a ladder, hang the butt, bring it up from downstairs, try not to hit the walls. Big pain. It's very light too, so I don't feel like I'm struggling with it. And then, so I just turned it, I'm going to take my color check. And it bends, so it's very easy to use. sock and that other furniture spray. Now it's just this. Super easy. I don't even have to get a ladder. So that is that. What else do I want to show you? I know there's a lot. I'm going to post more about everything online. Um, what I showed you and links for ordering. Um, a couple more things I want to show you. And if you watched what I posted earlier from Lindsay, she posted, I won't do this, um, <laughs> she shaped her legs and she only used the body net. I have to try this tomorrow. I didn't even know this was possible to do. So it'll be interesting to see. 
but I love this. One side is exfoliating, it's rough, and the other side is the body cloth. The body cloth is all I use at night when I wash my face. So I use, actually I use a small one too. Okay. Is it on? I use a small one and I wash my face. As long as I don't have waterproof mascara on, which I usually don't wear, it takes everything off. I use no face soap. I use no cleaners at all. If I have waterproof mascara, I use a little jojoba oil to take that off. But generally, it's just regular mascara, so I don't. But this takes everything off, and it does such a great job of cleaning your pores because it's wicking away all the oils and the debris from your surface. It has cleared up my acne, my kids' acne. They use this. It has this is um, the exfoliating mitt, and I'll post some I'll post some pictures of acne and acne face before and after using this. It's amazing. But I can tell them, like, because they have these in their bathroom, I can tell them they're not using them because I can see, like, little tiny pimples starting. I'm like, oh, did you not use your med? And, of course, no. So then they go in and they do it, and their face is clear the next day. Because you're taking off that dead skin, and then you're flipping it over, and you're pulling it all away. You're taking all those impurities off. It is so satisfying <laughs> to watch as you're using the body cloth, and you're going over, like, there's someone in your house that has um, blackheads. Oh my gosh. Get a body cloth. Or if you have an environment cloth, use that. But be careful because if the more you go off over the, the surface of the skin, you pull the oils off. So you actually can create dry spots so that you have the lotion. But it is so satisfying to watch those blackheads seriously be lifted out and pulled off. It is so cool. But, um, so I love these for the bathroom and this. And it's great because it just fits on your hand. So you can just wash real quick, you know, flip it over, exfoliate one side. That's what I always do. I exfoliate and then I flip it over. Body cloth. No soaps. I don't use, I haven't used any soaps in the shower for a little while now. Um, I don't smell. I don't think. No one told me I smell. So that's it, and it pulls everything off. Um, trying this tomorrow, I'm going to shave my legs just using this. No soap for my legs to shave. We'll see how that works. I'll let you know, but I'm not post I'm not posting a video. Um, what else can I show you? Um, okay, so Lisa needs at least one booking to unlock um, the hostess rewards for this month. I posted those earlier. If she has one booking, she will get the window cloth, and I think it's the window cloth and the Enviro cloth. Two bookings adds the dust mitt, and three bookings, it's not this one, but it's an optic scarf. It's gray, it's very pretty. It's a petite optic scarf, so it's not as long. But you get an office scarf with three bookings. So that's very nice. On top of all the um, the hostess rewards package. So that's really nice. Um, real quick, another one of my favorites. I have these in our bathrooms now. It, they're super fun. This looks like a shaggy dog, but it's the chenille hand towel. This one was um, a limited edition in the spring. October 1st, they're releasing the holiday ones, so oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what they have for winter. I think they're going to be super pretty. I'm hoping maybe there'll be a Halloween one. That would be kind of cool, or at least Thanksgiving. But these are fun. Everyone who comes over, they're like, what's up with your hand towel? They can't figure it out. I'm like, oh, isn't it nice? It is. It's so nice. It feels so nice. Um, so that is a lot of fun. So, um... Post some comments, tell me what you thought, um, any questions, I post it, my phone number, call me, text me, send me a message. Um, I'd love to talk more about Murabex. If you have any questions, there's those still. Well, that purple really got purple. It looks like black now. Um, every time I use my cloth, I'm still, I don't know what it is, but I'm still like blown that it cleaned that. Like, 
you know, you clean your windows and you're like, wow, these are so clean. Like, they look clean. And then you clean them and you're like, oh my gosh, they're, they were dirty. They were so clean. So it's a great investment. An initial investment, is, this is about $120 to get the state paid in. It's a great investment. With that, you can get rid of all your chemicals, even your laundry soap. You have clean, clear, chemical-free way of cleaning your whole house, you, having your family, your animals, you safe. Um, with everything that's going on right now, that's you know most important. We need to make sure that we are cleaning, but not poisoning ourselves in the process. And that's what we're doing with all the chemicals. We're poisoning ourselves. Um, so send me some questions. I will answer all the questions I can if I have any that I don't know the answer to. I hope that you find out the answer. Thank you, Lisa, so much for having this party. Um, I hope that I piqued all your interest and um, looking forward to all your questions and comments. So thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight and um, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks.